Right, we're gonna have a go at washing the Defender. Obviously, we got it dirty, we went off road. And I was wondering, is a good test of a Defender, does it look better dirty than it does clean? And, and I reckon it does actually look better dirty, but we ought to wash it because it's probably not gonna do it any good. So we got all sorts going on here. We got grass coming out, we got mud going on. We got that radiator in there, looks a little bit blocked. Um, see if I got like, oh, we got all sorts going on there. So we're gonna have a go. The mud is like, it's almost like designer mud. It's so cool. Um, but we'll have a look. Right, what we're gonna look at, obviously we've got the Raptor paint under here. So we got Harry washing it today. Well, you know, Harry, you painted that Raptor paint, didn't you, Harry? So we better be careful not to blast that off. Now, Richard, who's a regular contributor, has given us strict instructions, and I've gone through them with Harry. So we reckon we, we've got a plan, haven't we, Harry? So we have to start underneath, pressure wash underneath, and obviously that splats a load up the side. Then when we've got the underneath done, we'll do that on the ramp. So we got the we got our trick new pressure washer on the go here. Okay, that's it. Um, and we're gonna go up the ramps, we'll do the back, then we'll do the front, so we can get right underneath. Then we'll probably put it back down. Now, should we put the suspension up, Harry, for doing underneath? No, so yeah, we'll lift it up, so we've got maximum clearance around the arches, so Harry can get in. And I reckon when we put it back down on the ground, we might as well lower the suspension, so you can sort of get to the roof and stuff. Oh, yeah. God, it's getting all complicated, isn't sense, it? Yeah. So then we're gonna, right, then we've gotta rinse it off. We've got to use a sponge, not a microfiber for washing it and rinsing it, which is fine. We haven't got to put the pressure washer on the paintwork too directly. On the tires and the suspension and all that is fine, but we've got to be a bit respectful of the paint. And obviously you've got to respect Jerry at the back there. I don't want any damage to Jerry, right, Harry? Like that, yeah. You got that? Yeah. Right, good. Um, and then dry with a microfiber cloth. So I went to Screwfix this morning and I've got you some new sponges, Harry, and some new microfiber cloth so right let's get it let's get it up there let's let's get it up on the ramps and let's reverse it up right so we have got it quite dirty underneath we've got lots of lots of grass going on um, but everything there's a few scrapes on the exhaust but everything looks pretty much pretty good there you go but yeah we definitely need to get a a good wash on this so yeah there's some there's some rare old grass on that rear suspension arm there but there we go we'll get it washed and and have a look so i think the plan is we're going to soak it all so oh harry my window's open schoolboy error look that's where i was reversing it up the ramps it looks like we got it on the ramps nicely this side we won't show them the other side eh, harry <laughs> right so here we go so there's the and uh, oh I, I need to put the suspension up harry so let me get back in, wind the window up and put the suspension up. Yep, we're all up. Sweet. Right, put the window up. Good. Cool. Right, we're just getting it wet to start with, so just not going too berserk, not spraying too much. And then that can soak then when we're doing it underneath. So I hope I'm doing it all right, Richard. Yeah, do a little bit of the front, Harry.
Well, just having a look. So the rear rims, I haven't damaged them too much. I mean, I'm not too worried. The car's there to be used, but they look pretty good. And everything's coming clean. We need to wash these brakes off a bit more. Yeah. We've got that there. But uh, there's, there's grass everywhere. Yeah, the trouble is, the pressure washer doesn't get quite the grass, does it, Harry? It, I think it gets wrapped around. It gets wrapped so. around stuff. <laughs> Some people said the mud flaps might be dubious, but we you saw the off-roading we did. There's no sign of any damage to that mud flap, and the front one also looks fine. There's no sense that it's it's got ripped off. Mind you, still plenty of mud got on the sides. But there we go. We're starting to get it clean. Just done the plastics on the side there. Rear wheels looking alright. Right, do that front wheel, Harry. Yeah. That front wheel and that front wheel up. Now there's a radiator behind here, Harry. So we'll have to give it a good blast through here. Can you see the fins of it in there? Can you see that? So this front rim, we've, we've given it, there's a couple of little scrapes on it, um, but yeah, he's, we're happy with that. And it's all coming up clean, and you can see there that radiator that I'm a little concerned about. He's come up all right, and the rear suspension's all come up mint. So yeah, we're doing pretty good. There's like a whole, look, there's like a whole slab of mud that's just created there, look at that. <laughs> Right, we weren't on the ramps quite right before, so I've, I've repositioned it. We have got to be safe when we're working, so we've got it all on the ramps properly now. My bad, before anyone complains. Well, I'm going to leave Harry doing that. I'm going to go and see how the 3D printer's getting on, and we'll come back and see how Harry's got on, and then we'll drive him up the ramp forwards and have a look what the underside at the front's looking like. So we've introduced a bit of soap now, so we're getting a little bit more foam in. We've got most of the mud off, just get a little bit more and then we'll go and spin it round the other way. So if we have a look round this side, we're starting to get it. Get it a lot cleaner now. And then underneath.
go. Let's have a look underneath. So yeah, we're gonna have to get in here, Harry, and get that. You see that radiator in there? Can you see all that mud on that radiator in uh, there? Yeah, yeah, we'll get so I need to get all that because that's pretty blocked. Uh, you can see the radiator through in there as well. We'll try and get all all that. Number plate. Don't worry about that too much, Harry. <laughs> Jokes. <laughs> you right. Uh, so let's have a look. How's our? It'd be interesting to see when this front skid plate's all cleaned, because that's the metal aluminium plate we put on that was the accessory. It'd be interesting to see how scratched that is, because obviously if we'd have left the plastic one on, that would have been. But we can see we got we got all sorts going on around the brakes, and we got mud all over there. So, oh look at that! There's grass everywhere. <laughs> it's bogging. Right. So let's have a look how it looks. Right, let's get on it, Harry. go at the Raptor and it, it seems all right but Harry's gonna have a point blank Raptor test now we're not gonna do it at the edges because I think that might be a bit critical but he's gonna have a go point blank blast go on Harry Whoa. Oh, fail takes look at that out, it? takes it out oh, we're gonna have to Raptor it out so Raptor oh it looks good and it is pretty tough isn't it but the it lasted the off-roading, but there we yeah. go. That is our Raptor test. Try it, try it, try it a little bit further away here. Right? We don't go point blank this time. Like six inches away. See if yeah. that'll do it. Yeah, that's okay. So just don't go. It was a bit of an extreme test, but yeah. there we go. And that's a pretty powerful pressure washer. But we'll have to. How are we going to do that? A paintbrush, I reckon. Jib 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 jib. Or just a war wound. Right, um, how's that front skid plate looking, Harry? Because, so yeah, I zoomed in on it earlier. So it's got some pretty, it's pretty gouged out there. Um, so I'm happy with that because that's taken one for the team, isn't it, Harry? Um, the rest of the skid plates going back don't seem to be scratched at all. So I think the main brunt of it was taken on this corner here. But I've got my nice red painted subframe in there. And bolts, grass gets everywhere. Grass is a pain. Any crack between any two panels, there's grass sort of growing out of it now. Leave it a couple of years out, we'll have a little sort of moss effect, we'll have a little yeah. football pitch all over it. Right, let's keep going. radiator come up real nice you see that Harry yeah. so you are uh, there's a little bit there's a little bit of muck in there I need to do a little bit in there oh, I don't know if it'll focus um, but that corners that corners got pretty good yeah. so if you go in there if you have a look in there first 
and then a once over on the front and I reckon we'll soap it up a bit um, and I reckon we're then ready to uh, to put it I'll have a little crawl underneath but then I think we're ready to put it down yeah so we got it pretty good underneath we've got to be pretty happy with that it's come up it's come up good there's no sign of much scratching on this front skid plate but as you can see it is well protected it has got a lot of there's obviously some mud in some little places we're never going to get to. Um, but generally, he's, he's taken that all pretty well, that off-roading. Yeah, so we're pretty pleased with all that. It's all come up it's all come up quite nice. Right, let's get it off the ramps and start washing the top down. Right then, Harry, that's, so that's lowest mode. We've got the windows up. So I reckon we can put a bit of soap on the old girl now. Right, so we've got the soap going on now. But not too much at the paintwork. Yeah, that's as close as I get, Harry, for now. Just get it soaking a bit. The bubble's not coming through yet. The bubbles will, the bubbles will come through in a minute. too close to the paintwork or we'll be upsetting Richard. set for, for old Jerry. There you go Jerry, looking good. There we are. New sponge Richard, I'd be happy. <laughs> Things we do for Richard, I don't know. Oh, we're supposed to start the top, aren't we Harry? Look. Oh yeah. Went all wrong then. Right, so our challenge is, can we get water in the bucket out of the pressure washer? Wait, I did better than, oh, he's got it, he's got it, he's got the perfect swirl. But you've got to stop before it gets too much, Harry. That's as much as you get, I think. Yeah, we've been trying to, there must be a knack to that. Right, final rinse off now, we've sponged it off. We've started to wash down the wash area, which is fun. And then, look, Richard, new microfiber cloths for the wash down, for the dry in state. So as soon as Harry's got this, it's starting to look good now though. There's still mud coming out. I don't know how much you wash this car, I think we're always gonna have mud coming out of it now. Fiber cloth drying, apparently. So one of the advantages are over the chamois leather to a microfiber cloth. Obviously a cow didn't have to die to make a microfiber cloth, Harry, but it's like a vegan 
We got vegan car cleaning products. Lavinia will be happy. So there we go, the Defender has come up clean. We haven't scratched it or ruined it yet, Harry. I don't know how we've managed that, but um, I was quite enjoying going past all the old Defenders and looking at them with their clean Defenders going, ah, yeah, you want a proper Defender, mate. But I can't do that now, but we'll get it dirty again. Um, it's all clean, looking nice. Hold on, Jerry, if I missed a bit there. There you go, you're looking nice, mate. Nice hairdo. Right, um, so we're all good. I hope you've enjoyed that. Some people like watching car cleaning. Others are going to think it's like watching paint dry. Um, but we've had fun washing it. We've had fun going off-road. So, what adventure next?